Hey, Anna, can you hear me? I I can barely hear you. You coming in? Yes. Off, you coming in awfully low. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. How you doing? Is uh, are you are you part of the recording department? Yes, I am, and I have a recruiter for you. That's Melina, Mui. You have. Uh, a, she, wait, 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 wait. You have. Yes, a re, you have you are a having application in our system. I do. And the system assigns the recruiter to every driver. Wait, that's wait, 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 wait. Slow down, slow down. I, I, I have an application in the system already. Uh huh. You do. How is that possible? I never filled out an application to you guys before. It was a month ago. Oh. Uh, the application dating 14th of June. To be more precise, in 2 p.m. You have submitted an application to our company. Okay, what's, what's my name up under that application? Ahmed Chabaz. Say what? Ahmed Chabaz. Eh, my name is what? <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm finding it very hard to understand you. You, you said my what's what's my name on the application? Okay. I'm having a difficult story, story, story. Uh, my system is uh, having something that's fixing everything up, and I put in the two numbers, but I close the application, and it takes out another uh, driver's name. Oh, okay, because, yeah, because uh, this is my first time ever calling you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when yeah. I... When I when I restart everything, yes, I see that there is no application from your story. Sorry about this. Yeah, yeah this I. System. Yeah, that's uh, uh that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, All basically, right. what I'm, you know, I've seen you guys uh, pop up on my timeline a lot, and I was just basically, you know, calling just to get some information on these various um uh, i'm gonna say packages that you guys are offering um 55 to 55 to 86 cent cpm you guys have various uh divisions and various packages so basically what i was doing what i was interested in was just finding out a little bit more about these individual packages that you guys are offering. Okay, uh, may I first have your zip code so I can be more precise on and I can see what I can offer to what fits you the best. Alright, well my zip code is 44108. I'm out of Ohio. Okay, and what is the preferred home time for you? Every weekend. Okay, so every weekend home and out of Ohio, I can offer you a Midwest regional position. It takes you home every weekend and uh, the base 25% of the weekly growth or 30% uh, on a 1099, 25% is on a W2. Okay, hold on right quick. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, if I can remember seeing that. So this will be a regional drive-in solo. Yes. And my and I will be getting paid percentage of the load, right? Yes. So if I was to do W two, I'm only getting twenty five percent of the load. What would be my average? What would be my my average take home a week? Uh, between 1,400 and 1,700 on a weekly basis. Our top performers are even reaching 2,000 and more than that. So With this area on W2. So you saying so you saying anywhere between 1,400 and 1,700 a week? So that that breaks yes, down to about. So that that's 
that breaks down to about 60 cent a mile, give or take. Something like that. I haven't calculated how much is it, but a good reminder for me to do so. Uh, okay, okay. Um, 30% of the load if I decide to go 1099. So if is that 1099 lease purchase or 1099 me renting the truck? So uh, 1099 is you are using company's equipment, you are using company's truck and trailer, but uh, it's an ad list, it's an old list purchase program, so you don't have to pay rent for the truck. It's just an escrow deposit that will be deducted $100 a week for 25 weeks for truck and the trailer, and the deposit will be returned to you after you decide to leave the company if no damage has been done to the equipment. Uh, we do have lease purchase well if you want to be in your truck. Okay, so this is so I'm not so I'm not I'm doing lease but I'm not paying for the truck and trailer. Mm, I believe that you I believe that we did we were discussing a, a ten ninety nine position and the defense is making yeah, a yeah, lease. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, we got disconnected. So uh back to this ten ninety nine thing. You, you were saying that uh, that I won't. There, there's no truck payments or nothing like that. But you guys just take out a hundred dollars for twenty five for twenty five paychecks, which constitutes about twenty five hundred dollars. You guys to keep that. You guys yes. to keep. You guys I'm to keep. You, you guys to keep that until what until we decide to leave the company or how how long how long do you guys keep that money so until you decide to leave the company oh. and after that if no damage has been done to the truck and trailer we are returning this in full amount to you oh okay 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 so uh regional drive in solo 30 percent of the load 25 percent of the load um Average around fourteen hundred to seventeen hundred a week. All right. So what about um? What about what what, what about OTR? Same thing with that fifty five cent W two sixty cent ten ninety nine. What? Uh, why? That's an over the road position. Okay. 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 So if I decide to, you know, of course, fill out the application, get approved, how would you guys get me up to Illinois and how long is the is the orientation? Uh, orientation is paid $100 to you. It's just one day. It's done in Chicago Ridge, Illinois, and the company will cover travel arrangements and the motel room for the night before orientation as well uh, i know that you're thinking about 1099 i just have to mention if you choose w2 there are health benefits included health dental vision and 401k plan out of which the company is covering 50 percent then uh, uh out of this 25 percent uh, the mileage 12 cents per mile calculated by accounting i don't know how they will do it 12 cents per mile out of this will be per diem so there is per diem pay that won't be taxable now let me ask you this as far as per diem goes is that mandatory or no that's not mandatory so that's I, just on a w2 if you are 1099 you don't have you won't have it yeah but on the w2 uh if i'm on w2 and i don't want P, uh, per diem will i still will you guys still have to take per diem from me even if I don't want it? No. No, we won't. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So one day orientation. What what all entails during the orientation? Well, let me rewind that. Uh, how about pre-employment screening? Like, you know, what do you guys do? Hair follicles, urine. And would that be before I come to you guys or during orientation? That will be before you come to 
orientation uh, is a urine sample. And if the urine sample does not work, we are doing a hair follicle as well. Just if the urine sample is not good. Uh, okay, so you guys do do hair follicle tests, right? Do y'all do it at the... Uh, sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes we do. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Um, all right, so orientation, I'm just assuming that we're fill out, watch some videos and all that good stuff. And then will we get assigned, will we get assigned a truck right then and there? Yes. After, yes, the same day while the orientation is, you are assigned to a truck and maybe dispatch the same or the following day. Uh, the videos that are during orientations, you get to watch them at home and uh, which is cutting the time short for orientation. Oh, okay. Okay. What about um? What 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 other what what other things that are paid to the driver as far as uh, detention pay, layover pay, uh, stop pay, all uh, that good stuff? Are, are 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 all that's paid to the driver as well? Yes, uh, detention is paid fifteen dollars an hour after the first two hours. Layover is a hundred dollars after twenty four hours. Each additional stop is $50 extra, and tolls and scales are paid by the company uh, as well. Okay. Uh, alongside some other incentives, there are clean inspection bonus, $100, and $2,000 bonus if you refer our company to a friend and they get hired. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Right. Wait, run that by me again? The, the, the last part? If you refer the company to a friend, okay, and they are hired, right, you are getting two thousand dollars as a referral bonus. Okay, but you have to be hired hired first. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, since you mentioned the referral bonus, uh, do you guys do you guys have uh, maybe a policy for for people that that has a social media background? Because, I mean, you know, as far as the referral bonus goes, that's good and all. But, you know, if I was to go to promote the company, I, I would rather be paid, like, paid directly for that. Do y'all guys have a, have like a, 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 ad, a, a ad budget that you guys can, you know, give to your, no. you know, to um, your drivers? Other than you know, we referral. are having a marketing team in the company. Right. We are having a pretty experienced marketing team in the company, and we are not accepting outside marketing. Oh, okay, but no, 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 no. Listen, listen. I become a driver, and I'm outside referring drivers as well. What I'm saying is, since you guys have a marketing department and everything like that, can can that can can that person uh you know just get whatever the marketing whatever the budget for the marketing department instead of getting the referral bonus because some because no. people because people now you know back then you know one on one talking was okay but now a lot of people is using social media such as you guys to bring on new drivers you see what i'm saying you can recruit, you can refer as much drivers as you can. So $2,000 for a new driver, I believe it's a really good amount. And no budget will be cut off to any drivers so they can do a marketing. It's a referral bonus and it's said like that. It's no exception. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can refer 10 drivers if you want to. You can refer 15 drivers, and they all can be hired, and you will be getting the, the bonus. Yeah, but yeah, but how how is, let me ask you this, how is that paid out? Uh, after the new hire is 14 days with the company, you are getting $1,000. And after the new hire is 30 days with the company, you are getting the other 1000 Yeah, so that. 90 days, I'm sorry. So the first thirty days, I get a thousand. Then I gotta wait two extra months for the other thousand. See what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, that yes. part. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, 
All right, what, you know, before I get into the equipment that, you know, what you guys have, um, I fill out the application and you give it up to safety. Y'all look at it. Y'all y'all go through the motions, check the backgrounds and all that other good stuff. What can get a driver disqualified from coming on? Um, it will be driving with influence, driving under influence. Mm -hmm. Reckless driving, some other major violations, mm -hmm. uh, more than three moving violations. Uh, uh, then um, uh, positive drug screen in the past three years. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, okay. Truck abandonment on the verifications of employment as well. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, so we are checking everything. I got you. Um. You know what I meant to ask you before we started talking? What do M uh what do HMD means? What do that stand for? Uh to be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, okay, that's 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 good. I, I'll give you a pass on that one. Um <laughs> are 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 any of the lows force dispatched? Uh, it, uh, I wouldn't say that a port dispatch, but there are some account loads who we have, a, we have accounts, a lot of accounts, and there are some loads whom we, ha we cannot refuse okay. with some customers. Uh, hazmat, do y'all require hazmat or no? No. If somebody that has hazmat... For solo drivers, no. If somebody that has hazmat, can we... Can we get uh do we get paid more or no? Only if you are a team. We don't have a hazmat or double slots for solo drivers. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys do offer as I'm seeing as 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 I'm seeing, you guys do offer uh so uh team drivers too, right? So would that be a person that's would you guys select the the team driver? Or would they have to come in with with their partners per se? You can start first, and then you can bring a teammate to you. That that that's it. That's an option as well. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now, as far as driving the trucks, you know, companies have their own fuel uh, fuel locations. They would like for us to fuel up. Uh, is there any particular fuel locations that we have to fuel up with the company, or is it, or is it open? Uh, we usually have uh, fuel cars that will uh, that are having discounts at Pilot and Flying J. So these are the major uh, fuel stations that the drivers should fuel. You can fuel any time, anywhere, but uh, I think the recommendation is Pilot and Flying J. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what kind of what kind of um, what kind of equipment that you guys will offer me? And would I and would I be able so to get having... would I would I be able to get into a brand new truck or what mo year model truck that I will be getting into? So we're having trucks uh, 2019 up to 2021, mm -hmm. and the trucks are Freightliners and Peterbilt at the moment. Just Peterbilt available mm -hmm. in. Uh, Pretty good condition with mini fridges, power inverters, double bunk sleepers, and bunk heaters. You're having everything that you will need so you can stay out of a full week. Oh, okay. They're fully equipped. Okay, so you will we'll pretty much be comfortable in that bad boy. All right. Um, what about the computer system? What is it? Sam Sarah, Qualcomm, PeopleNet? It's a keep tracking. It, who? Keep trucking. Oh, keep trucking. It's so, the leading uh, ELD software at the moment. Oh, okay, okay. Now let me ask you this: as far as us getting our uh, getting our loads right, that for the computer that's in the truck is is just a tablet for the ELD. How will we How will we be getting our loads? You will be in constant communication with your dispatcher, so you will have an assigned dispatcher. You will talk often with them, he will send you the loads on uh, text messaging software or 
whatever is the toys that you would like to, and they will they will find you really good load. Oh, okay. So you can make your mile. All right. Um, I'm assuming we could take the truck home. Yes. When you go home, you can take the truck. Do you want an email with uh, what we just discussed about? Uh. Yeah, you can you 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 can send that. I only have a few more questions, if you don't mind, though. Yeah, sure, sure. Awesome. At the end, I will ask for your email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So as far as uh, as far as my weekends off, that's a full two days off, right? I come home Friday, off Saturday, off Sunday, and come back to work Monday. Uh, it's two nights. Two nights at home. You will have two nights at home. Sometimes you will go home on a Saturday afternoon, or sometimes you will need to start driving on Sunday afternoon. So it's only a 34 reset. It's not a 34 reset. It's two nights at home. So you will be getting two nights at home two days, Saturday, Sunday, and Friday. And you start driving Monday morning. If you go home on Saturday morning, you're having the full day. As well. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, that'll work, that'll work. Um, all right, so I got a buddy that's interested in, you know, coming into trucking, and he's he's in um, Cuyahoga Trucking School right now, Tri-C Trucking School. Do you guys bring drivers from out of school, or do, you, do they have to have, like, uh, a couple of years experience with you guys. So uh, if you if you get hired, if you get hired before your friend, and if you have more than six months of experience, which I believe you do, uh, you can uh, you can have him with you and uh, train him as a teammate. Oh, okay. He has a he has a yes, but we don't have trainer for solo. Oh, okay. But if he, but if I bring him in, I I, I can train him. Would I would I get an additional? Would I get additional pay for training him, or is that just something on me? You will be training. You will be uh, training him. He will be accepted as your teammate, and you both will be paid. Oh. About how the pay works for the trainees. Oh, okay. But uh, you will be able to make miles. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now he has a felony background. Do you do you guys uh, have a policy for felons? And if so, what is it? So uh, I can tell. We don't. We don't discriminate the drivers on their criminal record. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well. Um. Well, that's about it. Uh. Definitely, you guys have a. Have you know have, have have some ample opportunities for you know for for us out here? Um, again, me being out of Ohio, yeah. you know, I, I guess that solo the solo regional uh, percentage will probably be my forte unless I bring you know unless I bring my buddy in and we just go teams. Um, but you guys do offer flatbed, right? Do you do you guys train? Yeah. Do, you, do you guys train, no. or do you already have to have flatbed experience? You need to have at least six months of experience in flatbed tarping and securing loads, which is over the road. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. Um, the twenty three dollar an hour uh, W two would just be for the Chicago area. Yeah, so that's a local position. It's just for the Chicago area. Gotcha. Um, one other question before I get on up out of here, and it's pertaining to uh, personal convenience. Um, so let's say I have a, a secure lot. Yeah, personal convenience is uh, not discussable with the recruiter. It's a pretty confidential matter. I'm not sure that the, dr the drivers are not allowed to use it unless it's uh, completely and 100% necessary for you to do so. Oh, we are not using personal convenience any other way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, all right, so we, we won't discuss that, but let me throw this scenario out to you to see if it's still feasible for me. 
So I have a secure lot for the trailer. So I have a secure, when I go home, I have a secure lot for the trailer, but I disconnect from the trailer and bobtail home and park the truck in my yard. Would that be an issue or no? Uh, can you please repeat this? All right. So I have a secure lot for the trailer. The truck and trailer need to be very slow. Truck and trailer need to be together at all times. You, you won't be allowed to disconnect the trailer from the truck when you are on your home time. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, cool. Awesome. Um, is there anything that I probably missed? Um, that I haven't, uh, that I haven't asked that you could probably mm -hmm. offer. Uh, I can't remember. Of, I can't remember of anything. I just have to ask you for your email and the middle name for you. So uh, I can send you, um, an application. Um, yeah, my name's, uh, my, my name's Sean. Uh, and you can just send me the email and I'll, I'll fill out the rest once I, you know, once I finish doing my research. So my email is lockoutmen, L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N at gmail.com. Okay, we'll do it now.